And on security matters, the Defence Headquarters has announced that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the Prince Harry and Meghan, who will arrive in Nigeria on Friday for a three-day private visit. Director of Sport Defence Headquarters, uh, Vice Marshal Abide Mimakis, disclosed these on Thursday in a press briefing at the Defence Headquarters in Abuja. John Tena has more. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, founded the Victors Game, an international multi-sport event which offers recovery pathway for wounded and sick servicemen and women internationally. It also gives soldiers awareness and recognition in society to support their path to rehabilitation. The defense headquarters said Prince Harry and his wife would be visiting a non-governmental organization, Light Academy, an institution being supported by them. The director's sport defense headquarters said the royal couple will visit Nigeria on the invitation of the CDS General Christopher Musa to interact with wounded soldiers. And also to let you know that because they have been hearing a lot of things on the, on the media space, in the internet, and just to let you know that they are coming to Nigeria, they accepted the invitation extended to them by the Chief of Defense Staff, and it's a private uh, uh, you know, visit, it's not a state visit. The military said Prince Harry will also proceed to Kaduna State to visit the Nigerian Academy Reference Hospital where wounded and sick soldiers are kept for their medical recovery. You know, when you are engaged in, and, you, and you, are, you experience a permanent disability you know, issues, it affects your mental health and also your outlook to life. But the recovery program has given them an opportunity to improve their personal self-esteem, to improve their mental health, their emotional intelligence they've been improved, and also their families, seeing them, you know, as they used to be, uh, a breadwinner who is capable of, you know, continuing living. So this uh, engagement with Invictus is giving us the opportunity for a recovery for our soldiers. The founder of the Victors Games will spend three days in Nigeria interacting with wounded soldiers and their families. John Tena, ITV News.